Hey guys, it's GTSS, and in this video, I'll show you guys how you can get Android L lock screen on any Android device. So the first thing you have to do is open up your Google Play Store and search for Android L lock screen, and it most likely is going to be the first one that shows up. It's by Apps Fizzer, and once you install it, you'll come up to this screen after you click on the app. Now we'll go to settings, so click on that, and this pretty much allows the app to show you notifications on the lock screen. So once you click on this, it should be the third thing, Android Alerts. Click on it, change the, slider, change the slider to on, and click OK. And now you're on to the next thing here. And here I'm just going to give you guys some important notes you should probably know. Uh, the Android L wallpaper is loaded by default, but you can change it to any wallpaper you would like to, so that's a very welcome addition. There's no tablet optimization at all, and this bugs me as a tablet user, because there's no landscape orientation, and there's a, a couple of crashes that happen that I'm about to show you. And there's no lock screen widgets, but then again, that's not supported in Android L at all. And there's no support for pins and passwords. And this is big for me. I don't know if it is for you guys. Leave in the comment section if it is for you guys. But I use pins and passwords a lot. That's how I secure my phone. And at least at this moment, this app does not have support for pins and passwords. Well, however, this app's getting a lot of updates very quickly, so hopefully he'll fix that. I'm sure he will. And now I'm going to show you guys the interface and how you can use this app pretty much. So here I have four notifications, but we'll get to those later. Sliding is pretty much how this app works. Sliding up gets you to your home screen as I just did there. And I'll return on the device here. And so now sliding left from the right gets you to your camera application. It is a little modified, but it is still your camera application. And as you can see, I can take pictures. Now let's talk about the notifications here. They're quite intuitive and quite easy to use. All you have to do is slide them away to dismiss them and click on the notification to go to the app. So it's quite intuitive. It's just how Android works now. So it's really quite easy. And I don't know what else to say here. One con is it only shows four at a time. I wish there could be more, but it is designed for a phone, so I'm not going to be harping on that too much. But the crash I wanted to show you is every time you slide to the right, which is supposed to open up the dialer on a phone. Since it's a tablet with no dialer, it just crashes and goes crazy. Now, there is a couple of clear bugs here. As you can see, I showed you one here. I have a lot of notifications right there, and there's none showing up on my screen, and even the Hangouts, even the email. There's nothing on the screen. So overall, this is a very good Android Unlock Screen app. Um, there are a couple of bugs, but this developer has been updating this app very quickly, and I think these bugs are going to be covered in the next few days even. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I certainly hope you learned something and enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks.